1991, Peter McCleary escaped the Sydney rat race and moved to regional New South Wales, where he held senior management roles with many large companies. Study, been a long-term HR guy, started life as an accountant and moved to the dark side of people. To start with today, we're going to talk about um, just what do we mean by workplace integrity and testing. So it's just to give you a basic understanding. Then we're going to look at the cost to business when honesty and integrity go missing. And, and this is a really key one. And we'll be using data from the States, then data from America, then some of my own experiences. And then I'm going to be asking those who are online and want to contribute what they might have experienced. You've only got to respond with a number. Um, so um, just uh, if you would bear with us and participate, that would be great. If only to validate the research that exists out there for America and Australia. Um, then we're going to talk about the why and, and why it doesn't take much to do some integrity testing as part of your recruitment process or personal development process for people you are promoting within your business, um, who you might be moving up to partner type level or um, director level or manager level. Um, we'll look at some of the testing options um, and, you know, even if it's not the right option for you, maybe you can think about modifying whatever you're currently using. And then we'll do a quick review of all of those things in case you've missed anything. And that will then prompt you in terms of your questions. So that's how we're gonna be running this session.